different academicians gathered at Makere University to eulogize the Prime Minister Emeritus, Professor Apollon Sibambi, describing him as a stickler to both rule of law and time management, speaker after speaker lauded late in Sibambi for the role he played in upholding the glory of the institution for the time he served there. Those of you who know people from the mountains, we love the truth, even at a great risk. That thing endeared me to this man. I think the whole country has lost. Esther and the children have lost. But we at Makerere have also lost. He served Makerere with a lot of zeal because he inspired us. He didn't want to see you walking like you are not serious. He would call you Rugubrius if you are walking like that. Key among those that turned up to pay their last respect was the former Chancellor, Makere University, Professor Mondoka Gonyera, who recounted the good times he had with the late, serving both at the institution and in government. By the way, Professor Nsivambi is one of the very few people I, leave, I left my home to go and visit. How many of you have I visited in the last year? <laughs> None of you. <laughs> also recounting the time late Apollon Simambi spent at Makere University, the line Vice Chancellor Professor Barnabas Nawangwe testified having been groomed by the fallen academician and attributed his success to him. Many of you know that he valued discipline very much. And when he was our Chancellor, at every graduation, he emphasized discipline because discipline had greatly broken down. I would like to say that if some people think that I'm also disciplinarian, it is because of what I learned from him. All this was during a funeral service that was held at Makere University's main hall. Reverend Onismas Asimwe, the chaplain, St. Francis Makere University, preached nothing but the importance of other leaders and the general public to borrow a leaf from the late Professor Swami's legacy of timekeeping as it is key in all spheres of life. Friends, our life on earth is time. This is just a reminder. And God is very democratic in the dispensation of time. He's given each one of us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks in a year. And so there is nothing like African time. Leaders who waste people's time should learn from the life of Professor Apollo Svani. However, it was a heartbreaking moment as the children of the late Sibambi shared their memories about Makere University at the time their dad served the institution. Where we lived, there was a slope going up. And we used to run up with daddy, we would race and run up with daddy, daddy, and then we'd race and run. What kind of father finds the time to do that for you? He would go, if we had a concert, he would come and attend it. If we had a, a function, wherever we were in our lives, it was part of our lives. He used to keep telling me when I was a child, you're a leader, you're a leader. And I grew up with confidence because of daddy. They also used the platform to thank their mom for the love and care. Virtues, they say, managed to keep him this long. On Saturday, we spent a lot of time with daddy. Actually, normally he would come and then, you know, let him sleep or something like that, rest. But that particular time we spent a lot of time with him. But you'd see mommy, she would come measure the pressure. And then, and so in the end, he said, but mommy, you now become a doctor. Because, I mean, you now know everything. Take the blood sugar, take the reading. Mommy has cared for daddy. Mommy, thank you so much. <laughs> mommy, we appreciate you and you bless God for you so much. The late Prime Minister Emeritus Apollon Sibambi served Makere University for over 40 years, having started as a tutorial assistant in 1964, rose through the ranks, and later became the first non head of state chancellor for a period between 2003 to 2007. Mm. Dokas Kimonan Sudachikaye, 
UBC TV News.